Hey guys, welcome back to another automotive repair video. A while back I uploaded a video to YouTube showing how to easily figure out the cause of parasitic drain on your vehicle. That video has become highly popular and helped many people. Now there was some concern in that video about disconnecting the battery on later model vehicles that were just out of warranty because they did not want to lose the settings on their computer or the programming and settings on their sound system. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform the test without disconnecting the battery from the vehicle. In my other video I told you the first thing you have to do is rule out the battery as being a problem. As batteries age they do not retain the charge that's in them so you can charge the battery up while you're driving, come home and park, get in your car the next morning and when you go to start it the battery is dead. You may just get clicking from your starter. So in order to check the battery as stated in the other video you would disconnect it at night and then reconnect it in the morning and if the car started right up you would know the battery is not the problem. So in order to rule out the battery without disconnecting it from the vehicle you can take it to many auto parts stores and they will come out with a battery analyzer one like you see right here and they can check your battery for you. You'll know right away if the battery needs to be replaced. If you don't have a store near you, you can pick up one of these battery analyzers online at a very reasonable cost. Once you perform that test and the battery has been ruled out, then you can go on to the next step. In a previous video, I took a digital multimeter and I put it on DC amps, 10 amp setting. Then I disconnected the post over here. I disconnected the clamp, lifted it off, then I put the positive from the meter onto the post and the negative onto the clamp. And then you would see how much current is flowing from the battery into the vehicle. In order to do that, you'd have to lift this off the post and that would open up the circuit and then you would have no more power to the ECM, sound system, and other parts of your vehicle. So I'm going to show you three ways you can do it without disconnecting power from the battery. The first method I'm going to show you is the one that most people will likely be able to do because most of you will have a digital multimeter or you can go to Harbor Freight, pick one up for around five bucks and while you're there, you're going to grab some jumper wires. Before performing the test, you want to make sure that you do not have a hood light on the vehicle that's on because it's going to give you a reading that's inaccurate. First thing you're going to do is find a spot on your clamp tuck this under, good. In my case, this plate right here, I'm going to take the alligator clip, put it on there, make sure it's nice and secure. The negative, push that off to the side. And then the positive is going to go to the post of the battery, right in the center. The next thing you're going to do is loosen this nut, and then you're gonna slide the clamp off the post and well above. By doing that, with the wires the way it's set up, you will not lose any connection with the vehicle. You're automatically going to see how much current is flowing on the digital multimeter. So let me loosen this nut first, and then I'll demonstrate. The clamp has been loosened. I'm going to put this right on top in the center, and then I'm going to lift up right here. And as you can see, we have 20 milliamps of current flowing and that's very good and you want to make sure the amount of current that's flowing with nothing on is under 50 milliamps. Now you don't want to have to hold this the whole time but you can if you have somebody to assist you. What you would do next is you would go to each one of the fuses on your vehicle with the exception of the ECM for the computer and the sound system fuse. You're going to pull one out at a time and you're going to keep an eye on the meter. If it's showing 400 milliamps of current or 800 you're going to pull out one fuse at a time and then put the fuse back in. When you see the current drop, you're going to know you found the right one. If you go through every single fuse and it does not drop and it only leaves you the ECM fuse and the sound system, then the next thing you're going to want to do is disconnect the wiring from your alternator. A faulty diode in an alternator can cause the battery to drain overnight. Once the alternator is disconnected, if you continue to see a drain, then you're going to have to disconnect the sound system fuse. More than likely, you will find it by the time you get to the sound system. Very rare is the ECM the cause of an excessive current draw on your battery. It's very common to find that an alarm system will drain down your battery. 
Now, if you don't want to hold this up, there is something that you can do. So let me just put this back just for a second. You can see the current disappeared because now the current's flowing from the post into the clamp. Harbor Freight sells clamps, very cheap. You can make a wire just like this, a large one on one end and a small on the other. So what you would do is you go like this and you would lift the clamp off the battery. Take the big end right here, clamp it like that. And then you're going to take this and you're going to connect it and then you can lift off. All right, and just let it sit to the side. So now we never lost the flow of current into the vehicle. All your settings will be fine and you can perform the test. Now there is one other way that you can test without having to touch anything. And that's using a device like you see right here. It clamps around the wire, leaving your battery post. If you have more than one wire, you're going to have to clamp this on one wire at a time. It's going to tell you how many milliamps are flowing. And then you're going to add up all the readings from the clamp. You will not have to disassemble anything. It's a super handy device, and it's not that expensive. Putting this back when you're finished testing is very simple. Just repeat the process. Probe, center of the post. Remove the clamp, remove that one. Hold it from the top, and just slide it all the way down. And by doing that, you will not lose any settings. Guys, I hope these tips help you figure out the problem with parasitic drain on your vehicle. Thank you very much for watching.